So Jessica, four eliminations this week. Yay! Uh, four people of color out the door, you know. Ooh. The only thing that I could say is, um. Wow. Oh God. There's a lot of buzz on the message boards. America only wants white contestants. I right. mean, frankly, these people had no chance of making the top 12. They weren't going to win and they didn't sing well. That's right. why they got sent home. I don't think it's a racial conspiracy, frankly. Home now, how can that be? If anyone is to blame, I think it's the producers and the judges for exactly. not putting forth good contestants of color. Smile, what's the use of crying? Right. If you want to have a balanced group of people, I'm sorry, these were not the best African American or Asian singers. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. No matter how much no. Jermaine Sellers thinks he's the best singer yes. in the competition. Right. Our victory is complete. The son of Jorel has fled. He sort thinks like... that God thinks he's the best singer in the competition. Oh. I know God. <laughs> It's great that he has faith in a higher power and that it gives him strength in his time of need, but he took it to a different level, like God's gonna help me sail through the top 16. <laughs> God is too busy helping Crystal Bauer socks get better <laughs> from her diabetes complications and making sure she can sing on Wednesday night. Right. I'm a tough cookie. His whole vibe was like, you guys don't get church singing, you don't right. get gospel influence. Where I sing from, you can't be taught how to riff and run and sing high notes. We have seen many contestants on Idol through the years who've performed with that gospel feel and gospel Absolutely. style. Fantasia Barino, Melinda Doolittle to a mm -hmm. certain extent. Lakeisha. And they Absolutely. succeeded because they do it well. Shut my life. The problem is Jermaine sings in that style and does it poorly. Do not hide behind the cross. You, you pretty much summed it up. Our other male elimination this week, John Park. Gravity is working against me. He never really lived up to his potential. I know, didn't it just break your heart? I mean, I liked him so much at the beginning. Certainly Shania loved him at the beginning. Yes, you have a beautiful bottom end. Mm -hmm. And then he was just so boring, like snooze. And it shows us how people don't always translate from that little holding room right. to a big stage. Another contestant who did not translate well, Poor little Haley Vaughn. It was a complete and utter mess. I like Haley no. Vaughn. No. Sorry, no. You don't like her, nope. like, <laughs> for iCarly? Nope. <laughs> The frustrating thing with Haley was when Kara said to her at the end, You need about a year of really strengthening your instrument. Yes, she did. Right. Why did you put her into the top 24? Right. Michelle Delamore, our other elimination this week, she's just one of those She's contestants. utterly, utterly forgettable. <laughs> I just heard the news today. She was the one that Simon was talking about, right, when he said... There were certain contestants I heard back who we gave some compliments to. Uh, one in particular, which was so bad, I had to turn the TV off. I think so, and way to punch someone in the gut when they're down. When I went back to watch it, it was technically off. It was very sharp. She made the huge mistake already of singing Creed, which is probably the uncoolest band <laughs> in America, <laughs> except for possibly Lee DeWise, who sang Hinder's Lips of an Angel. I and, like him. And was not punished for that. It sounds so sweet. Yeah, but the men were so bad that Lee DeWise is like... I mean, I know. He's like John Lennon compared yeah. to, you know, the groove this year. He could have sang like, I got a brand new pair of roller skates and, <laughs> exactly. and sailed through the next round. 